Hey everyone, Jackie Friedman here, and I am reporting live from the Celebrity Apex. We are on our way back to Athens after a fantastic seven night cruise through the Greek islands in Croatia. I thought I'd spend a few minutes just sharing my experience with you. For those of you who may be a little apprehensive about uh, cruising right now or may have customers that are feeling the same way. So I'll start upon arrival in Greece. Uh, right now, as of the time we traveled, which was the end of August, you had to have either a negative COVID test or proof of being fully vaccinated. So uh, because I am fully vaccinated, I did not need to have a test. But I do suggest that you do have one before you go, uh, just to be sure. The processing once we arrived in Greece was really easy. In fact, there was little more that we had to do uh, than, than normal. So uh, everything was simple. We had done all of our paperwork in advance. Getting to the ship uh, was simple. We had a predefined uh, embarkation time and that made the process just so smooth. Uh, once we arrived, we whisked through uh, the various stations. We had to get a antigen test. It was quick and painless. We waited for 15 minutes, got the, the results that we were looking for, and we were free to embark. The first thing I noticed was the crew. I gotta tell you, they were so happy to see us. These guys were uh, without cruising for 16 months or so, and they were just so happy to be back. You could see their smiles through their masks. The crew did wear their masks throughout uh, the voyage at all times. As far as guests were concerned, we were required to wear them indoors as we were walking through the ship. But once we were seated in the theater or in the restaurant, uh, we were certainly free to take the masks off. And the same was true for some of the outdoor spaces, the pool deck, etc. So uh, I really didn't find it much of a hassle. A few things I could tell you in terms of the health and safety protocols. First, there were hand sanitizer stations throughout the ship. Second, they had uh, social distancing circles uh, on the floors, so any place where there may be a line, uh, people could space out. The same was true for certain tables uh, in the restaurants or seats in the theater. Uh, they had it so that uh, travel parties could sit together, but there was enough space in between travel parties. So it made it very, very pleasant. Now we only had 420 guests on board this week. So crowds and lineups uh, were not an issue. We were able to get into any specialty restaurant we wanted, uh, got spa appointments. So it really, really was uh, a special experience. There are absolute benefits to cruising when the ships are not at full capacity. I know the cruise lines uh, don't want to hear about those benefits, but uh, it certainly made this week special. A couple of other things uh, that I just wanted to share with you, and that is just the care that they take in the event that someone does get sick on board. So I was traveling with a good friend. Uh, she came down with a cold. We didn't want to take any chances, so she went down to the doctor. Uh, they did some tests. They did a PCR test. Uh, and the great news is that test came back negative, but they still suggested that she stay in her cabin for a day just to make sure uh, that even though she just had a common cold as the diagnosis came back, that she didn't share it with other guests on board. And they took such good care of her. The doctor called uh, several times throughout the day to make sure everything was fine. They came to deliver food. Uh, and uh, they just had a precaution, they actually moved me into uh, a new cabin so that uh, we both had our space. So, um, you know, it was fantastic just uh, how well the crew handled that. Now, I did get a chance to sit down uh, with the hotel director while I was on board, and we are going to share some of that video with you uh, at the end of my remarks. But he certainly shared some of the things that they are doing uh, to keep guests safe. And 
it uh, is really quite remarkable uh, in terms of the training that the crew had to get and just the care that they take because they can't afford uh, to do things wrong. Now they do expect that there will be cases from time to time, but they have a plan in place uh, that uh, is as easy as possible for anyone who may be impacted. They do have about 15 quarantine cabins on board. They retrofitted them a little bit, removing carpet and other uh, surfaces that could hold uh, germs. Uh, five, uh, five of them are what they call uh, red cabins, and those for, are for people uh, who actually uh, did test positive. The yellow cabins are for people they also want to isolate, uh, but who uh, are just part of the travel parties or traveling with uh, you know, the people that test positive. He also reassured me that every destination that they call on has agreed to take any passenger off who may need medical attention and may need to be disembarked early from the ship. So they have no concerns uh, that uh, the ship will not be welcome into port if there are in fact positive cases uh, because that's all being handled up front. So without further ado, uh, I would love to move to my interview uh, with the hotel director of Celebrity Apex and uh, let you hear some of his comments on health and safety protocols and what he would say to someone who might be a little bit concerned about cruising right now. Hey everyone, Jackie Friedman again, and I am back on board the beautiful Celebrity Apex with hotel director Christoph Bolebra. So Christoph, what advice do you have for cruisers that might be a little apprehensive about cruising right now? Well, I can safely say that if I work here, it's maybe safe. Yes. <laughs> now we have obviously, you know, before the pandemic already, I think the cruise industry was quite renowned for uh, its level of, of cleanliness. Mm -hmm. uh, and the pandemic just increased that, you know, that, 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 that fact. So we, the company has worked tirelessly for over a year to come up with uh, uh, the best protocol possible to guarantee the safety and health of our guests and crew. So really what we have is a comprehensive uh, uh, cleaning uh, and uh, sanitizing you know, program that we, we have increased sanitation all over the place. We have trained the crew. Uh, we have increased uh, uh, the uh, amount of, uh, of uh, personnel that clean the ship. We have intensified the, um, all the high um, <clears throat> frequently touch area around the ship are sanitized much more frequently than before. We have uh, testing in place, obviously, for the guests uh, prior to come on board, uh, while they are on board, and the crew is tested every single week. Uh, by uh, so, and then you know everybody wears masks and everything. Everybody has uh, keep social distance. So really, it's 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 probably, and I'm not saying that without you know we just because because I work for the company, but it is the safest place to be because of you know the fact that I say every employee is is, is looked after, is tested every week, uh, every guest is tested uh, when they come on board at the end of the cruise. We uh, you know if because there is time to time that we have cases on board. We have a very strict protocol when it comes to quickly isolate the guest, and then uh, we have uh, a system in place where we can easily track all the close contact of that guest. Uh, we have a video system which allow us to track back to 48 hours. We track back 48 hours and we can see every guest that has been in contact with that person or who in that matter, and if we uh, identify a close contact, which is a person that actually stays more than 15 continuous minutes in contact with that person. We call that person, this person is tested, and then isolated in case, you know, either of this person become uh, the close contact is positive or negative, they would be isolated and obviously send off the ship. Uh, or in case we need it, if somebody is symptomatic, we have uh, agreement in every port of call that we go. We have agreement with health uh, local authority 
So if we need to uh, evacuate a guest to an hospital, we have the right to do that. So there is no issue like before. Right. Uh, when we had this was the whole issue is because no one uh, country or port wanted to welcome, you know, to take the ships in because they were afraid, which is, and the problem is if you keep, obviously, the more sick people aboard the ship, the more you increase the chance of spreading the virus. Sure. So this is now, it's, it's we put, the, the, the company has put a protocol that this won't, won't happen ever because we won't sell in any places where we do not have those agreements with the port, which makes a huge difference. Not only we can contain it on the ship, but as well we have this uh, facility to send any guests or crew outside of the ship as quick as possible. So you keep some cabins on board as well for quarantine. We have uh, approximately we have five. Uh, we have a, what we call a red zone and a yellow zone. So red zone is is guests that have uh, uh, contact, contracted the COVID and are symptomatic. So we have uh, six cabins on board the ship, which has been redone. So to make sure that there is no carpet, is only a hard flooring to facilitate the cleaning. Okay. So we have protocol, you know, for to look after those guests if they are inside the, 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 this zone. And then we have a yellow zone for any close contact uh, like this. So we have uh, approximately on the ship we have always approximately 15 cabins for that, and then we can increase according to uh, the, the number of cases that we have. Okay. Well, that's helpful because I know. Uh, that's a question that a lot of travel of advisors have, and a lot of their clients have, so that's been uh, helpful. Is there anything else that you think uh, might be helpful for them to know uh, as it relates to cruising right now? Well, again, besides the fact it's safe, we, we have, I think uh, what is uh, quite significant is the fact that we have managed to incorporate all those safety protocols without changing the experience of the right. technology. And I think that was, at the beginning, it was one of the things that I was personally worried um, as working on board the ship. But I found out that you know we we are a business, and always the cruise industry has been um, one of these industries that has adapted very quickly to this environment and uh, an ever changing environment. And I think we're very we are very resilient industry, and the way that we have gone through the pandemic and come up even stronger than before when it comes to all those. Health protocol, I think, is a testament to how the, the industry responds to challenges. So, uh, and, and you know, I think the guest, it's just obviously it's not maybe the first choice of coming on a cruise ship. Um, but I have to say that everybody, every guest that comes, realize that they want to come back and they feel actually safer uh, on the ship than they are actually at home, you know. Yeah. So, it's uh, quite a testament. I'll tell you, it was my first choice, so yes. I'm certainly happy to be back, uh, loving every minute on the Celebrity Apex. So, Christophe, thank you so, so much. My pleasure.